Bloomington, Indiana, autumn. I cannot concentrate. Everything before me blurs together until nothing is sharp or simple. Our lives mixed up and complicated. In the bookstore I can barely see to let a few words from some page through. All these words collide and jostle one another. And Sexton. I open at random and find Sylvia's death, which then bumps against biographical blurbs on Dylan and Joni, a children's book about weasels and how life consumes life, a map of the heavens, every star illuminated, a remembrance of some long-lost memory. The courthouse square, my head still for a moment, the breeze scattering jewel-like leaves at my feet, burnt violet, bright yellow, mottled reds and oranges. I press a few into my book. Why? Have you kicked through leaves in the city? Let them come up under your toe? Well, I have out here, thinking of you. I cannot concentrate, cannot shut off the world. How I'd love to do it clear. Where am I amidst these blowing leaves which shake, shake, shake and fall through the telephone wires? The world is too full. I wait for it to spill at my feet, like these leaves. Your eyes appear everywhere, in the green lawns and upon these frozen statues. The jade plants in this window echo your stage name. I am late and I do not care, absent from where I should be, neglectful of my duties, trying to sort out these various avenues which run to and fro. I have made a new book from all the random pages. The story the same, no matter how we sequence it. Changes in the heart. The head waits and follows a slower creature. And that is what I am doing now. Waiting for this pursuit to end. Waiting to see you again. You or anyone who can disconnect me. Show me some new language. Close the car door. Find the nearest exit. Help me clear this up. Help me keep this feeling. Help me save these thoughts which I want to hold so much. Help me see this through.